Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode number 17 of Pokemon Insurgents. I am back today playing this awesome game. I did my trade for Drillbur guys at the end of last episode, and I did a little bit of nature cherry picking, and I was able to get a Drillbur that is a, uh, what is this, careful nature, which is lowered special attack and boosted special defense. So he's going to be a bulky set here. Um, I'm hoping for, you know, decent enough defense. Uh, good attack, good speed, good HP. So hopefully this this could potentially be my sixth member of the team. I was looking at the team though, and I'm noticing that, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five of my six Pokemon currently are special or physical attackers. My only special attacker is Charizard. So that could be a potential problem. Maybe I want to get another special attacker on the team just to balance the scales a little bit. Um, as far as defense goes, Snorlax is my special wall. Cleaver, although it has high physical defense, it has a lot of weaknesses, so it's not, I wouldn't necessarily call it a physical wall, but it does have decent defense. Uh, Azumarill is pretty balanced in terms of defense. Pupitar is going to be a nice defensive wall at some point. Um, yeah, he's got boosted defense. So Pupitar is going to be our physical wall, and then, you know, we'll see what happens with the rest of the team. But anyway, I got to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up, and then we'll continue... Uh, into this uh, town here, which I still have no idea how to pronounce this. I'm just going to say Utyra Town. Utyra sounds right to me. Again, I'm not really sure, though. These, some of these names, man, are just throwing me for a loop. So I'll just go with Utyra Town. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. But anyway, it looks really funny when I'm walking with my Drillbird because it looks like he's, like, roller skating <laughs> because only his feet move. It's pretty funny. But anyway, let's go into the library here. I have to do a bunch of tasks for people or something, but I have to go in here and help... Um, help out Damien and Nora and this place has actually got this creepy vibe I was not expecting this we got the uh what's it called music up in here the uh the creepy lavender town music let's see what this guy wants welcome to the Utira town library I'm Zachary the librarian here I made it my goal in life to instill the love and joy of reading why is it like four different why is it rainbow colored in young, in young kids uh if you need any help let me know that's that's funny I don't know what that guy's up to, but uh, before I exit this area, let's talk to everybody. I'm reading this fascinating book about ancient Tauren. Apparently, uh, it was created by Pokemon with a thousand hands. What Pokemon has a thousand hands? I honestly have no idea. Uh, I'm reading up about famous users of electric-type Pokemon. It's very interesting. I've never heard of Lieutenant Search before. Wow, dude, you've been living under a rock. Uh, okay, blah, blah, blah. I just want to see if anybody... Wait, wait, hold on. What did that girl say? Um, you're not really supposed to be talking when you're in here. Uh, it's a library after all. Yeah, well, whatever. Okay, let's go outside. Um, oh, wait, never mind. This is just another room. What's this? I guess that's just a book on the ground or something. Um, is that like is that Professor Oak? It looks like it. This place just seems like one big maze. Can I not go through there? What the hell? Okay, I guess I can't go through there weird uh what do i have to do in here I have no idea did you know smeargle can learn the most moves of any pokemon that's because it's only learned sketch okay yeah well i know that what do i do what does a dan do in this place hold on what's this like clipboard here nothing okay let's talk to this guy what a beautiful view of the outside world simply astounding incredible wonderful uh let's see I may have been looking at too many thesauruses. <laughs> Lol. Alright. Well, I guess I can't go right. So I guess I'll just go left. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's see. Can I keep going? Oh, wait. I can go now. I'm confused, man. What's this room? It seems like the last room. Uh, I used to be a trainer before I became a librarian. Uh, those days are long past, so you might find better use for these than I will. Ultra Balls. Thank you. Much appreciated, lady. Love me some ultra balls. Okay, what's this guy want? Uh, not supposed to be talking here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I guess I'll just whisper. All right, uh, let's talk to this guy. Uh, I'm looking for a book on how weather conditions affect battling. Did you know there are conditions exclusive to the Torn region? I'm hoping to become an expert in all of them. Yeah, I actually have one with Charizard. So, one of the people told me that... Um, the Great Gats- Wait, did that say the Great Ghastly? Dude, that's funny. Uh, so, 
one of those guys in the village said like, hey man, can you get me a book and I'll give you a prize? Apparently I have to get like the f a fighting book. Oh man, I wonder where it is. I feel like I just should not even waste my time. Just go look on the wiki. This library is super interesting. So much information is useless, but it's still all cool. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, can I climb this ladder? Oh, what the hell? Oh, this is cool. Uh, the upper floor is bizarre. Okay. Be careful with the books you find up here. Some of them contain dangerous and confidential information. This book is titled Dubbed Anime and Why It Isn't As Bad As You Might Think. <laughs> this is funny, man. It contains information on how to summon Darkrai. Let's hope Persephone doesn't find this one. <laughs> this book is filled with various cosmological horrors. This book talks about the Unovan language structure. This book is written entirely in Latin. Wonder why. This book seems to revolve around the backstories of some prominent ghost-type Pokemon such as Chandelure, Drifloon, and Bayonet. It talks about deep sea Pokemon and the government they've been hiding from the population. If the Abyssal Cult heard about this one. <laughs> yeah, this is funny, dude. Giratina. I gotta find the fighting one. This book seems to be purring. On oh, the second thought, better not touch it. Oh, God, what the hell? Is this like the that book from... What's it called? Pokemon? Or not Pokemon. God dang it. Uh, Harry Potter? Ooh, New Moon. Cool. I wonder what New Moon does. I think it does the same thing as uh, Charizard, Mega Charizard's ability, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, did I talk to her? I didn't talk to you, right? Paintings on the wall are a bit creepy. Sometimes I swear there's eyes following me. Yeah, this place is mad creepy. All right, what am I supposed to do in here, actually? This book isn't very interesting. Maybe a different one. This book is called Hitmonchop's Guide to the Galaxy. <laughs> That's funny. Like Hit Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but Hitmontop instead. All right. Well, that door on the other side must have been like glitching out or something. Let me try to go through it again. Because I have a feeling that I have to go this way. Yeah, look, it's glitched out. I can't go that way. I swear, if this is like a glitch in the game and I can't go any further past this, like the like game ends here. Oh my God, I'm going to be so upset. Um... But seriously, like, what am I supposed to be doing in here? Like, I have no idea. All right, well, I just read on the wiki that the east wing of the library is the abandoned wing. So you guess what east is? This way. Oh, wait, the door is locked. I just have to click on it? The sign of the door reads abandoned wing. Keep out. Oh, I just have to click on the damn thing. Oh, my God. Thank God. I'm actually glad the game didn't end. I thought that might have been a glitch. Okay, an abandoned wing. Nice find, Dan. It's just, uh, this might just be where the prophecy is stored. I agree. Nobody knows the prophecy except for the cult leaders. Um, it would have to be hidden somewhere. Most people wouldn't look. Oh, crap. Who's this guy? Oh, is that the wacko that I talked to at the front desk? Um, are you three going into the abandoned wing? May I ask about... Uh, it? What about... Blah, 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 interest you? God dang it, I can't read right now. Oh, we were going to look for a very old book, sir. We're trainers, you see. We're trying to take down the cults, and we figured out that one prophecy about them might be back there you see you'd be surprised how many people people <laughs> what uh looked for that prophecy sigh tourists uh, i'll let you in if you want there's no prophecy back there uh but there's that one glowing orb an orb what do you mean uh what is this like harry potter now dude like there's the orb dude this is harry potter all right uh that's right uh it's been in there since the library was built it's only one of many different odds and ends lying around in the wing. For whatever reason, people believe it has something to do with the prophecy, so they try to get it to react to them. I've already seen hundreds of people leave disappointed. Do you really want to waste your time? Oh, well, we may as well try, right? Damien, for once in your life, you're right. <laughs> Let us in, please. I promise we'll be quick. Fine. Uh, but we really will need to be fast. I have a lot of things to do today. TY, buddy. All right, it's unlocked. The glowing orb is at the far end of the abandoned wing. Uh, I'll take you to to go see it. Uh, be careful, though. Uh, there are wild Pokemon and possibly even trainers back there. You what, mate? Dot, dot, dot. Let's go find out what the future holds. Dude, like, you know how Harry Potter has to find the globe for his prophecy or whatever? Or how to kill Voldemort or something like that? I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> It's basically this. Alright, let's fight some trainers. Okay, can I beat you? Do you have Levitate? I don't think so. Yeah, you don't have Levitate. Get off me. 
All right, should I train uh, Drillbur? Because he's going to be really good. Let me switch out. Uh, Spiritomb's coming in, so let me use uh, Pupitar here. Trying to train him. Oh, boy. Freaking Spiritomb, man. Scary. It has no super effective weaknesses until Fairy was introduced. Kind of interesting, right? Dude, look at how overpowered Ominous Wind is. Like, oh, my God. All right, I, I, I'm done. I got to switch out. <laughs> okay. Let me go into zoom roll. Dude, Ominous Wind needs a nerf. Too good. Too good. Alright, uh, just Aqua Tail it. Oh my god, dude. This thing is just wrecking me. Okay. It's got one of the coolest cries, though. Okay, Pupitar leveled up and learn Crunch. Yes, please. Yes, please. Give me Crunch. I'll get rid of uh, Dark Pulse since Crunch is... He's a physical attacker, so... It's basically like a physical version of Dark Pulse. And a Zoomerl leveled up, too. Nice. All right, um, so the abandoned wing. If there's like books on the shelf, that'd be fantastic. Oh, a wild Pokemon. I wonder if it's like ghost types. Oh, okay, bayonets. Interesting. Let me uh, swap out somebody else in front because I don't want to uh, have to be caught in battle. Yeah, but that'd be pretty cool to get a ghost type. All right, here we go. This library is full of ancient spirits. That's great. Gengar! Okay, that's fine. I can Mega Evolve and crap on you. Here we go. Mega Charizard! Oh god, payback. Too bad you're dead. Gengar is so good, dude. So fast. Just outspeeds everything. Alright. Uh, I guess I have to go through here. Oh, more random nothingness. So what can I find in here? Oh my god, Gengar! Gengar! Holy crap. Gengar. Gotta catch it. Gotta catch it. Must catch Gengar. Best Pokemon in the game. God dang it, I killed it in one hit. Charizard, stop being so strong. Dude, there's Gengar in here? Are you serious, dude? Uh, the prophecy won't react. Okay. That's awesome, dude. Like, Gengar in this place, man. That is so cool. Alright. This is actually good that I get to fight all these uh, ghost-type Pokemon because it gives a... Uh, Charizard here, a chance to level up a little bit. I want to try to get him up to level 50 today. There we go. Drift Blim. Another Shadow Ball to the face. You're dead. Alright. There we go. And down goes the median. Alright. Let's see. I gotta get through this maze of a place here. Litwick. I could get a uh, Chandelure on my team. That'd be a powerful special attacker with a fire typing. Very, very interesting. Maybe. Maybe. Chandelure is very good because he's fast. He fits all the categories that I need. Fast, fire type, special attacker. Like, I need that. But the problem is it gives me a bad ghost weakness. So, maybe I will, I'll pass on that. Alright, here we go. Third room of the East Wing. Ooh, an escape rope. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Alright, let's see. Okay, there's the, all the folks. Uh, let's see. Miss Magius. What? Yeah, let me catch this. Why am I mega evolving every time? I don't know. I'm just... It's, it just boosts my special attack. Makes me even stronger. Yeah, okay. I gotta, I'm gonna come in here and catch all these ghost Pokemon because they're pretty awesome. Definitely gotta catch a Miss Magius. All right, here we go. Uh, are we all here? You see that glow over in the back? That's the orb that supposedly has to do with the prophecy. Uh, seems like a load of rubbish in my opinion. I doubt there even was a prophecy. It's probably just a legend. But anyways, go ahead and get this over with. I guess I get to go first because I'm the coolest. I also have a skeletal Charizard, so. Alright, what do I do? Okay, things are happening. Something's shaking. Who dares wake me? What? What was that? What? What's happening? This? This has never happened before. It's so good to be awake again. Uh, what do we have here? House guests? Uh, if you're after the prophecy, you'll need to work harder than that. That's right. I am the one who wrote it long ago. Uh, but you're dead wrong if you think I'll just tell you. Oh, crap. Who is this dude? Uh, I was the prophet of Arceus and the oracle of Delphox. Dude, what, what is this? What is going on? Uh, I've been preaching since before Hoenn was created. Hoenn, Hoenn, that's, that's cool. Um, if you want to know the secret of the future, you'll have to take it by force. Oh my gosh, I'm fighting this dude. And he doesn't even have cool music. Oh, this guy looks like a weirdo. 
Ancient Oracle question mark. <laughs> All right, let's take him down. I will Mega Evolve Charizard here and Shadow Ball. All right, let's do this. Hit him with a quick little Shadow Ball. Take him out. One shot kill. Claydol is gone. All right, what's next? Jellicent. Uh, I'll stay in. Well, I could go into Pudding. Ah, screw it. We'll go into Pudding. I'll get him some experience. Plus, I don't think Jellicent can touch Pudding. Okay, let's hit him with a Leaf Blade. Rain Dance, please. Dead. Pudding is so good, dude. Pudding has been super good in this game so far. Oh, he's learning Crunch. Yes, please. Got some nice little... Actually, I don't need Crunch because I already have a Dark type. I have two other Pokemon with Dark type coverage, so I don't even need Crunch, actually. I'd much rather keep Yawn to put people to sleep. And Body Slam is a pretty good move, too. I could take out... Could take away Body Slam, but Body Slam is actually better than Crunch. So, um, I'll pass on this. No, thank you. Uh, yeah, let me... No, stop, 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 stop. No, I don't want to learn it. Thank you. Okay, what's next? Pupitar leveled up. Sweet. Delphox. I got to switch. Uh, let me go into... I mean, Zimril's weak, so I'll go back into Charizard. Man, I have a wall for everything, dude. This is awesome. Okay. Uh, let me hit it with a... Shadow Ball. That'll kill it in one shot. You're dead. Okay. Like, no experience, dude. What the hell? Uh, Bennett. Yeah, I'll stay in. Ghost-type Pokemon. Oh, it's a Mega Bennett. Oh, crap. It's still gonna get one shot. Sucker Punch. No! Oh, my God. That's bad. Okay. Mega Bennett. Crap. How do I kill this thing? I think Scizor can take a sucker punch because he's resistant to dark and then this thing is a ghost type so i can use night slash right oh my god that did so much damage okay whatever scissor killed it thank you scissor all right level up look at that attack 156 awesome age of slash steel ghost oh my god dude steel ghost what all right let me try who what okay let me try tanga <laughs> i'll try to hit him with an eq <laughs> this thing okay i might actually lose this thing is actually is ubers in in competitive this thing is broken as hell okay oh god it's in it's in attack mode oh oh it lived oh crap i wish i had a priority move right now all right well tanga did some good damage to it i want to say that cleaver could probably live a hit maybe not Mm. Eh, I mean, I can use low sweep. Oh, I forgot. Cleaver has scrappy. I could have just used low sweep and killed it one hit. Ah, whatever. All right, whatever. We we built. We still beat the guy. That guy's got some good Pokemon though. Okay, we beat him. I wish I had an Aegis Slash. I would love to train one of those. That would be perfect for my team. All right. Uh, dot dot dot. Heh. Not bad. All right. I'll spill the beans. The prophecy has been misunderstood many, many times. Even the cult leaders have never heard the correct version. Wait, so they don't know uh, what the real prophecy says? That's right. I'm not going to read to you the entire thing. Uh, it's a terrible poem that's easy to misinterpret, and I don't want to be that oracle, you know? <laughs> uh, I hope you're ready. Ahem. The first thing predicted was the emergence of a hero chosen by a legendary Pokemon. Secondly, this hero will succeed undefeated uh, in Torin. Uh, they'll move on victorious. Okay. The last secret uh, piece of information is that in the end, the hero will join uh, the Infernal Cult and betray their friends. Uh, that's basically... Wait, what? One of us is going to join the Infernal Cult? Uh, yeah, what? You can't leave us with that. Who's the hero? How can we stop that from happening? You can't avoid fate, Nora. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, well, you can't say he doesn't have a flair for the dramatic. Uh, this reminds me of another author, L. Uh, Frank Baum. Uh, what? Oh, shut up. Uh, how can you stay so calm? Uh, we were just told that one of us is a traitor. Uh, this isn't a time to joke around. Uh, it's definitely me, by the way. Uh... Okay, let's see. Uh, well, he did say you'll get rid of the cults, right? Uh, I'm a librarian. As prophecies go, I've heard far worse. Plus, nobody knows about this, right? Uh, you can use that to your advantage. I think that that was a mis that was a spelling mistake again. Uh, but anyways, 
people are probably waiting for me at the front desk, so I need to head back. Uh, let me know if you need anything, if you need any more help with, well, whatever library stuff I can help with. See you around, heroes. Alright, Nora, listen, don't panic about this, okay? Don't panic, Damien. We just got told uh, that we're going to lose. People are going to die. Worrying about this isn't going to help. Uh, we need to work together. If we're going to... Let's see. If we're going to let this make us turn on each other, uh, we might as well give up now. Oh, criticizing me already, Damien? You know, if I were in the Infernal Cultist in disguise, uh, I wouldn't draw attention to myself. But of course, you wouldn't know anything about tact, do you? Uh, not Mr. I ran my mouth in front of the cultists, got kidnapped in a garbage dump. <laughs> Nora, please stop. Uh, you know what I think, Damien? I think your stepmother was right about you. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, I'm going to go now. I'll see you in, Sino in Sonata City, Dan. There's a gin there. Uh, you'll need this badge in order to dive. Yeah, Nora's kind of a kind of being a, kind of a jerk right now. Um, why did I say all of that? I don't know what came over me. I feel awful. I'm going to apologize. Uh, I really hope I didn't hurt him. I can't lose somebody else. Damon, wait up. Yeah, she's definitely the crazy lady that's going to turn. I'm guaranteeing it right now. Because I'm just chilling with my Pokemon, okay? You know, I don't really care about all this stuff. I just want to train. I want to beat some... I want to kick some butt. I want to kill some Pokemon. All right, let me catch this thing. Let me Leaf Blade. Is this thing a poison type? I hope not. Oh, let's go. I li lived with like one health. All right, Ultra Ball time. Time to catch a Miss Magius. Yes. Probably not going to put it on the team, but still pretty cool. All right. It still blows my mind that I'm finding Pokemon like this, and I have three badges. Like, this game is just so much... Like, in previous games, when you beat the third badge, it would be like level 20s. Like, <laughs> this game is so much different. I love it. All right. Let's uh, let's get the hell... You know what? Screw this. I'm just going to use the escape rope. This place is annoying as hell. Uh, escape. Let's do that. Can't use it here. Oh, my God. I guess I'll just have to get out the hard way by fighting every last Pokemon in here. Ooh, Dusclops. Cool, cool, cool. So we've seen Miss Magius, Bennett, Dusclops, and Gengar, and Litwick. So pretty much every ghost-type Pokemon under the sun, or should I say under the moon, is, is in this freaking library, which is pretty cool. If only I, I already have a ghost type on my team, so I'm not super concerned about it. Is there something blocking my path there? Are you serious? Okay, I guess I'll go this way. Mm, I gotta go up and around that corner here. This is annoying. There's a Gengar. All right, I gotta catch this thing. Gotta catch it, gotta catch it, gotta catch it. Oh my god, look at how much damage that does. All right, hold on. Let me put it to sleep. Please. Okay. I'll synthesize because I'm funny. Oh, you thought you did damage to me? Nope. <laughs> All right, time to throw Ultra Ball at it. We got a, a Sleep Gengar. This thing is going to be caught. All right, here we go. Hey, first catch. All right, we got ourselves a Gengar on the team. Awesome. The Shadow Pokemon. Gengar is top 10 all time for me. Love Gengar. Classic Gen 1. Still good to this day. How do I get out of here, dude? This is so annoying. Litwick. Nope, don't care. Chandelure would be a good addition to the team, but like I said, I don't know. I'm just I'm just not sure. Okay, I think I'm out of the, the forbidden zone now, so I should be safe and sound. Get back to the front entrance here. And we are out of here. Awesome. Okay, so what do I do now? I guess I gotta leave this town. Let me just quickly heal up. And I guess I'm gonna go to the route down south, I think. We're heading to Sonata City next. So I guess that's the next city in the chain. So let's go ahead and... Oh, hold on, actually. I'm going to go look at the uh, natures of those Pokemon, because those were pretty awesome. Uh, I caught, what, a Miss Magius and a Gengar? I also caught a couple more Macargo. Let's see what those typings are. A boosted attack, lowered speed. That's Those are both terrible. Gengar's lowered speed, boosted defense, terrible. Uh, how about Miss Magius? Let's take a look at this thing. Uh, neutral. All right. And good IVs. M Miss Magius. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. But, uh, I'm gonna keep with the team I got right now. Let's go, let's go down to the south part of the town. 
Let's get out of here. Let's go to the next town. I think it's this way, right? Uh, yep, the path is clear. Time to go. All right, what's the next area? Route 8. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just go through here. Let's find out what kind of Pokemon we're going to find. Oh my god, Houndoom. Holy crap. That could be an addition to the team. That very well could be an addition to the team. Hold on. Let me look at my team. I have no dark... Oh, I do have a dark type on my team. Damn. Because Houndoom fits the bill, right? Fire type. Um, special attacker, fast. Houndoom, man. Ooh. Kangaskong! Oh my god, what am I going to find next? Hold on, I got to keep looking. Kangaskong, bro? And Houndoom? What's next? Okay, another Houndoom. Alright, I got to catch one of these things for sure. Let me just Dragon Pulse it. Okay, that did like a decent amount of damage. Let me confuse it. There we go. Hurt itself in confusion, that's fine. Now I'm going to throw an Ultra Ball at it. Please be like, Modest Houndoom. Oh, please be Modest Houndoom. God, that'd be if if it's a modest Houndoom, it's on the team. Just I just want to say that right now. One of the coolest Pokemon, dude, Houndoom, and it's a, it has a Mega Evolution too, so that's awesome. All right, let's keep going. Uh, is there any like I don't know items in this area? Probably not. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, I want to just quickly fight this guy here. I need those levels. All right. Oh, he's got one guy, Ampapom. Okay, I guess I'll just have to Mega Evolve and hit it with Dragon Moves because, you know, it's a it's a normal type. Can't hit it with my uh, standard Ghost type moves. But uh, Dragon Pulse did the job just fine. All right, Pupitar has got to be pretty close to getting to level 50, right? 48. Yeah, let me put Pupitar out front. I'm trying to get him up to a uh, Titar as soon as possible, because then he becomes like a a threat. You know what I mean? All right, let's see what else is in this grass. Kangaskhan again. Can I run from this thing, please? Oh, no. Bad, bad, bad. Please let me run. Please let me run. Thank you. Whew. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. So, Kangaskhan and Houndoom so far. There's got to be more than just those two things. There's got to be some other Pokemon. But let's keep going. Alright. Sand Slash. Can't really hit this thing too well. I'll try to hit it with a Crunch. Let's see how much damage that... Okay, he just used Dig. Let me switch out. Is that super effective? Uh, what resist dig? Oh, I know. Ya boy. Well, actually, Snorlax, I guess, does. We're going to Snorlax. Yeah, Snorlax. Oh, that was a critical hit, and it barely did any damage. All right, let me Leaf Blade some stuff. Get Snorlax up to level 50. Hit him with that Leaf Blade. Snorlax is so good. Like, I haven't... It seems like Snorlax has been an Unsung hero, because he has been really good. Vespiquen. That's Bug. Let me, let me switch out. See, this is where I need a fire type on my team, because bug type Pokemon kind of give me a little bit of trouble. Um, let me go into Scizor. I can use a... Uh, I can use... I think this thing's actually bug flying, so... I can just use a quick little Icicle Crash. Let me Mega Evolve, because why not? Adaptability Icicle Crash. Why not? And I missed. Awesome. Damn it, why do I always miss this move? And it, like, it costs me, too, because then they hit me with a super effective move. All right, well, anyway, that thing's dead. That thing would have died, like, five times over because I'm pretty sure that was quad effective and it's adaptability. So that's, like, times eight damage there. All right. Let's just go ahead and get that right there. But I need some 100% accuracy moves on Sizzle, or I really do. Like, I don't know, like, if there's 100%. Look, there's a Snorlax there. I don't know if there's, like, a 100% accurate move on Scizor, but if there is, I got to find it. All right, what's going on here? I heard that there's a uh, TM for rare weather in the library. Oh, I actually found that. New moon. Let's see what do you want. Uh, looking in Celine City. Uh, I saw a rundown clock tower chock full of rare Pokemon. Ooh. Big fan of that information. I don't know where Celine City is, but uh, hopefully I'll get there eventually. There's got to be something on the other side of that water. Let me go over there. Ooh, there's something hidden. Max Repel. I'll take it. All right. What's in this water, by the way? I wonder. Watch, it's going to be like Gyarados again. Ooh. Swana. Water flying. I probably can't run from this thing. Oh, God. Please let me run. Thank you. Swana is very interesting. All right, can you fight me? Yes, you can. 
Yeah, Swana's cool. Um, water flying is a pretty decent typing. It, I mean, it's bad to electric, but that's fine. Uh, it's, it resists water, so it's pretty good. Uh, Harry on, I can't kill that thing. Let me go into my fighting stopper, aka Azumarill. Okay. And let me hit him with a play rough. Wake up slap. That's not doing anything. I'm not asleep. There we go. Azumarill. Done for. And Ninja Boy Tommy has been defeated. Hold on. Let me look at the team real quick. I think I have like a bunch of guys. Yeah, Pupitar's 49. Pudding's 49. Charizard's 49 and Azumarill's 49. So we're about to have four Pokemon hit 50. That's pretty good. We're, we're very balanced in terms of levels. We just need to find that sixth Pokemon. Uh, all right. Do you want to fight me? Yes, you do. Okay. Psychic Mia. Can I kill this thing? This thing's a... Yeah, this thing's a... Uh, what's it called? Psychic type. I can hit it with a crunch. Oh, yes. Pupitar. Let's go. Pupitar meow stick. I can kill this thing too. This thing's a psychic type as well. Role play. The hell? Psychic, please live. Oh yes. I'm not quite a dark type yet, so that crunch isn't stab. I'm telling you, once I get a Tyrantar though, that crunch becomes stab, and then it's just gonna wreak some havoc. Alright, more trainers. Alright. Ampharos. I don't think I can hurt this thing, so let me switch. Uh, I, Pudding pretty much walls it, so we'll just go into Pudding. Cotton Guard? Yeah, I'm not worried. Let me just... I don't know, I'll just leave Blade. Okay, this is going to take a minute because this thing used Cotton Guard. So, just uh, <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> Eventually, this thing will die. Please don't paralyze me. Thank you. Please don't paralyze. Yes. Man, that Cotton Guard was annoying. Alright. Well, anyway, it's dead. Pupitar is level 50, guys. Pupitar is level 50. Septile. Alright, let me switch. Septile. How do I kill this thing? Cleaver. Cleaver, come on in. Alright, I'll make a fall. Hit with an icicle crash. Please don't miss. Alright. He's probably going to outspeed, actually. Yeah, I was going to say. But he's dead now. Septile. Classic Gen 3 starter. Always overshadowed by Blaziken, but still pretty good. Alright, let's see what's in this house. Uh, ooh, a guy. Let's see. Ever since Pika Taxi became popular, nobody really needs uh, HM Fly anymore. I'd sell it to you. Uh, so just have it for free. Hey, sweet. Thank you. Honestly, like, I would rather have Fly than, than the Pika Taxi, but... I mean, either way, it's it's a nice thing. Alright, let me check out the other side of this water, see if there's any, like, uh, special items. Oh, never mind. That's just an extra pathway, I guess. Oh, wait, hold on. No, there's a hidden grotto right there. Wait. There's a hidden grotto. I spotted it. Yes, what's in here? Uh, what is this thing? Swirlix? Uh, Spr Spritzy, what the f- I don't know what that is, dude. I'm just gonna run. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hidden Grotto, I spotted it, but nothing there. Alright, so let's go into the next town. I believe, what is it called again? Uh, Sonata City? I, I guess the Snorlax is just gonna chill here. <laughs> it's like, I should bring out, like, my Grass Snorlax and be like, what the hell? Alright, let's go into the city. Uh, oh, okay, never mind. Another town. Oh, here we go. No, please don't beat a long event. I was about to end the episode. Okay, uh, let's see. Ah, Myara Town, my favorite place in Torin. What a lovely, lovely town. It's so peaceful, serene, built over the Shining Sea. Of course, the World Islands now rest just a route ahead. Uh, it's almost a shame, really. Perhaps when I flood the region, uh, I'll leave this town for last. At last, the sea is awaking once more. It's time to bring the king... The, it's king his crown or something like that all right well hopefully that doesn't happen right now so i can actually like find the pokemon center here we go this is like pacific log town i thought i was going to go into a city next but i guess i have to take a detour here in myara town all right so let me heal up here we go i'm going to check my hound dooms nature real quick move pokemon please be modest please be modest 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 careful oh my god dude why why can't i just have a modest all right i'm just gonna go back and try to catch a modest hound doom but anyway guys thank you very much for watching this episode of pokemon insurgents hope you guys enjoyed it next episode we'll check out this town i'll hopefully have a hound doom that's a good nature and uh, i'll see you guys then thanks for watching it's been dan likes talk to you guys on the next one peace